Hello, I am Alex Chakosi, Assistant Professor in Mechanical Engineering Department, Vidya Academy of Science and Technology, Prisu. Today we are going to discuss about the orthographic projections of lines. In the previous sessions, we have discussed about the point and we are continuing with the line. Uh, today's topic for discussion is basic information needed for the orthographic projection uh, for lines and uh, basic concepts in the orthographic projections of lines, how to draw the projections of lines. Here information uh, that means the length of the line, length of the line and the position of its two ends uh, with HP and VP. Uh, position of the ends with the HP and VP and if it is inclined to any plane, the inclination also we need to draw the orthographic projection. So we need uh, inclinations with the HP and VP also. And we are considering uh, front view and top view in this session. Uh, side view is there, and uh, that we have to consider uh, after the after some session. And uh, these are the simple cases of the line which we need to draw. So our first one is line parallel to both HP and VP. A line parallel to both HP and VP. And the second case is a vertical line. Vertical line means the line perpendicular to HP and parallel to VP. Third case, uh, line inclined to HP and parallel to VP. Fourth one, line inclined to VP and parallel to HP. And fifth one is the line uh, both inclined, line uh, inclined to both HP and VP. So the first case is line parallel to both HP and VP, and the last case is line inclined to both HP and VP. And the fifth case we will discuss up, uh, in next session. And uh, in this session we are considering only these four uh, cases of line. These are the pictorial representations. Here we can see the XY line HP, VP and the object that means the line AB. Here we have to uh, project the point A to VP, B to VP to get the friend. So here we can see that for front view we are projecting A to VP and B to VP and we are connecting that. Then we are getting the front view of this particular line AB. And what will be the denotation the representations here? It is a dash and b dash. A dash here and b dash here. Okay. So we have got the front view in VP. And for the top view, when we are looking from the top, we can see only we can see only the point. Only see a, we can only see the point A, and we cannot see the point B. So we can draw a point here as the top view of this line because when we are looking from top we can only see a point but we have to write here a b because this point represents the top view of line a b and we are representing it in x b as the top okay clear so the second case a line uh, parallel to h p and v p line is parallel to h p and parallel to v p Okay. This is the front view. We are uh, projecting this point A and B to VP, and we are getting A dash B dash. For the top view, we are projecting A and B to the HP, and we are getting the top view AB. So we are now going to the orthographic pattern. Here we can see we are rotating the HP, and we are getting like this. So the front view A dash B dash. You have to look this position. This not in HP. Some height above HP, the point is located. So take a look at that also. And here the top view AB. The distance from XY line will be denoted here also. So we are representing the line AB. Top view of the line AB. Okay. This. And here you have to uh, think one more thing. You have to note one more thing. Uh, front view is vertical line showing true length. What is true length? The length of the line AB is the true length. The line is parallel to VP, so we are getting true length in VP. In this case, the line is parallel to VP and also parallel to HP. So we are getting true length here in front view and true length here in top view also. So from this we can have a conclusion when a line is parallel to any plane we will get the true length on that plane here. So 
uh, here uh, one more thing is there pv is a point when the line is perpendicular to hp top view will be a point and uh, here the line is parallel to hp and parallel to vp so we are getting two lines in each uh, plane that means vertical plane and horizontal plane. here is an axial it is clear okay the third case a line inclined to hp and parallel to vp a line inclined to hp that means an inclination with hp will be here and that inclination is denoted as theta always the inclination of a line with respect to hp will be denoted as theta okay so for the front view we are looking from here we are getting the point b here a here and we are getting the front view and we are writing a dash b dash and this case we know the line is parallel to vp so we are getting the true length here and also the true inclination in the front view we are getting the true inclination and true length because the line is parallel to vp here but in the case of hp when we are projecting a and b to the horizontal plane we are getting a reduced length in top view we are getting a reduced length in top view so for the projections we have to do the project draw the projectors we are drawing the projectors from a dash to here b dash to here and again we are continuing with projecting these two points to a and b this is the orthographic projection in this orthographic projection you can see a dash b dash will be the true length and this theta will be the true inclination and a b will be in a reduced length that means top view is reducing reduced length here we have to note this when a line parallel to vp when a line parallel to vp top view will be parallel to xy line when a line parallel to vp top view will be parallel to xy line okay. the fourth case line inclined to vp and parallel to hp the line is inclined to vp that inclination will be denoted as phi the true inclination to the vp will be denoted as phi and in this case when we are drawing the top view first because the line is parallel to hp and we are getting the true length in hp we are getting the true length in hp so we are starting with the top view here we have started with the front view because we are getting the true length in vp in the fourth case we are starting with top view because we are getting the true length here in top view and the true inclination also phi so inclination to vp will be denoted as phi in all the cases and for the front view we are projecting these two points to the vp and we are getting a dash b dash here we have got the true length ab and the true inclination phi so in this case like this we can come into a conclusion that when the line is parallel to hp we are getting the front view parallel to xy line clear these are the concepts related to the point and fifth case we will discuss, discuss in the next session so when coming to the class just know how to uh, draw the front view top view and the uh, also front view and top view of the line so here is the summary we have uh, we now know the basic information which is needed for orthographic projections of lines and uh, um, notations we know and uh, the four quadrants we now this is the thing for uh, previous summary and after this session after this session we know uh, we got the information about the uh, projections of lines uh, the length of the line and the position of two end points and uh, all these things and the four types of lines or four cases in lines 
all these things we understood okay so thank you